Well, boys, we all know by now that GT5 Online is a... It's a pretty old game, so there are going to be a lot of things that used to be done in GT Online that are either just not done anymore or done a little bit differently. So in today's video, I thought we'll go down Nostalgia Road and we'll look at some things, probably about five things that people used to do all the time for different reasons. However, either nowadays they're just completely gone out the window because something easier has come in or people just find it boring now to do them, or they're just not worth doing. So if you do enjoy today's video, it would be amazing if you left a like, but also subscribe and notification so you don't miss on future videos. But with that said, let's just hop right into this. So our first case of nostalgia comes from a mission that literally every single old GT5 Online player has done, which is Rooftop Rumble. You may have forgotten that name, but now you have remembered it. Now this mission was the dog's bollocks when it came to making money this was the mission that you would grind with your friends or even solo like the Kao Perico heist you can do it with friends or do it solo and make a shitload of money or at least back in the day it was a shitload of money now what you would do is literally just go to this parking lot take out all the guys unstealthy because there's no such thing as stealth as you could literally point your gun at one of the guys and you're behind them and you will get caught so there is no such thing as stealth in this version of GTA Online but this is the mission right here where you and your friends would try and figure out strats to make this mission go by quicker and quicker and quicker so you can make as much money by the hour as possible. Because you can see here, I made $11,000 doing it hard solo. So imagine how much money you could make in an hour grinding this constantly day in day out. Not a lot of money in today's standards, but back then it was a shitload and it was so much fun to do. However, Rockstar have just completely shat on doing adversary modes and missions because free roam just pays so much more better with the new businesses. So this next one people stopped doing because Rockstar decided to get a brain and actually use the gate at Fort San Kudo and open it. And what I'm talking about is the stunt jump at Fort San Kudo that people used to do. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, what people did was they would arrive in a shit vehicle. They would then steal a decent vehicle off the road, maybe taking a couple seconds, maybe a minute to try and find a decent car, and then they'll go halfway up the road, go full power, and just past this sign, they would go off the ramp and get into Fort San Kudo and try not to blow up. I know I have a habit of doing it, but uh, yeah, I managed to not blow myself up this time. And this was the way in, this is how you would get in Fort San Kudo. As soon as you would land, you would get four stars, you would race to the jets and try and get away. However, the hangars are now in here, so I don't get the cops anymore. You can still do this, but hangars are here, so it kind of makes it nostalgic. Which, speaking of the jets, I want to throw this in here, which was my route to getting away from Fort San Kudo. Now, what I used to do was steal the jet from Fort San Kudo, like everyone, and within a week of playing GT Online, my flying stat was maxed out. But what I did that makes this nostalgic and get in this list was because I would get in the jet and I would already have four stars. And when you have four stars at Fort San Kudo, there was a jet chasing you. So what I would do is fly up over the mountain, hug the mountain right here, and then I would take this exact route here because two police helicopters would always spawn on this side of the mountain, but there was always a little gap in between to get past them. I went through there and then I'd go out to the ocean or out to like the lake or somewhere and lose the cops that way. That was my route of getting away from Fort San Kudo and just doing this to record this video made me have a lot of flashbacks from doing this. But now this one, we don't need the jet because we're going to get another flying vehicle. And this was the interaction menu before the interaction menu. Now, what do I mean by this? What am I talking about? I'm talking about the Merryweather pickup helicopter option. Now, this, we all remember doing this. We all remember calling this guy and waiting for him to land. Now, it got outclassed because you can obviously just spawn the buzzard in your interaction menu now. But this was the buzzard before the buzzard. Now what you do is you would call it, spend a thousand dollars every single time, and then you would wait about maybe 30 seconds for the helicopter to appear on your minimap. You would then get your flare out and look up into the sky and see if he's landing properly and not crashing into a building like he does all the fucking time when you're in the city. You then have to wait through the long ass process of him flying down and landing the helicopter next to you and for some reason he doesn't get scared when you wave a gun in his face so all people did was just shoot the pilot and then just steal the helicopter and then not call Meriwether for like 30 
IRL minutes because I feel like that's how long it takes until you're off their bad sport list. And that was the buzzard. That was the buzzard back in the day. That is how you would get a helicopter to your location as quickly as possible. And if anything, it's kind of good because unlike the buzzard, it won't spawn in stupid locations because it actually has to physically land. However, for this final one, it's going to make quite a few people sad. So just to cheer you guys up, I'm just going to blow up the helicopter behind me for no reasons. If you couldn't tell, I really like explosions. I love destroying shit in games. It's so fun. But what I'm talking about, it's obviously going to be the OG heist. Now, obviously, people still do these heists here and there. But if you ever try and do a setup for one of these heists with randoms, you're going to be there for quite some time. If you have the final heist, especially the specific standard, you will fill up quite quickly. You'll get like a minute or two and you'll have all the players there. But if you're trying to do a setup or any of the other heist really, uh, you're going to have to wait a little bit or get some friends. Because everyone just prefers, especially now, is the Kaya Perico heist. As you can complete that in less than an hour, you can do it solo and you can earn over a million dollars, which is a decent pay. Same for all the other heists, Doomsday is still a good one and also the Casino heist is still a decent one as well as all them heists, if you do the first setup for the Doomsday, you can do all of them in under an hour from start to finish and if you do the glitch where you can just do it as a host and have a friend, you can just rinse and repeat between you and your friend and every like, I don't know, like 10 or 15 minutes be getting a million dollars so obviously people don't really care about the OG heists anymore. So as sad as it is, although the OG heists are some of the best heists in the game, even to this day, probably because they are nostalgic and you'll never beat people's nostalgia, look at Fortnite, no one plays them anymore because they just don't pay enough compared to everything else that is in the game now. Now if you're wondering why I added the Forts and Kudo stunt jump in here, even though it's technically not a stunt jump but I'm classing it as one because it should have been one. If you're wondering why I'm classing that one in this list as nostalgic and not the stunt jump at the LSIA or the City Airport, it's because people still do that stunt jump at the airport. I feel like people don't really do the Forts and Kudo one anymore, they just go through the gate as it just seems more convenient. However, there have been times when I've just taken the stunt jump at the LSIA and not taken the gate as doing the strum bump is more fun and also it does seem a little bit quicker but if you have any other ones that aren't either of them then let me know what they are in the comments do you have anything else that you used to do in gt online that you no longer do or you find yourself rarely doing or did it not even feel nostalgic when you were doing it but now it does was it a game what was it let me know in the comments. And also, were you actually playing GT Online for this long? Let me know in the comments. But with that said, hopefully you all have a fun fucking fantastic rest of your day. Go check some videos because there are plenty more traffic to go watch. And with that said, I'll see you guys in the next one.